Grade 8 math number 10.2b. We're doing algebraic dilations, and now we're going to be graphing reductions algebraically. So we can describe the effects of a dilation on coordinates x and y by using algebra. And when the origin is the center of dilation on a coordinate plane, we can find the points of the dilated image, the copy, by multiplying the x and y coordinates of the pre-image, the original one, by the scale factor. To graph a reduction, we need to multiply the x-y values by a fraction because the image will be a fraction of the size of the pre-image. It'll be smaller. So here we've got this house shape. It's a pentagon. And when scale factors are between 1 and 0, or 0 and 1, the image is smaller than the pre-image. So if this blue one is the pre-image, and we have a scale factor that's smaller than 1, well, then our image is going to be a reduction. It's going to be smaller. This blue pentagon is our pre-image, and the center of dilation is the origin, right here at 0, 0. So our scale factor in this one is going to be half. So we're going to have to multiply the coordinates of this pentagon A, B, C, D, E by a half. We list the x, y coordinates of the pre-image on the left side of our table, right here, and because our scale factor is half, we multiply the xy of the pre-image by half to get the coordinates of the new reduced image. So we multiply these coordinates of pentagon A, B, C, D, E by a half. x values get multiplied by a half and y values get multiplied by a half. Then we have the new coordinates for our reduced image. Okay? We list the dilation coordinates on the right side of our table, right here and we can plot them. We can draw the image, okay? So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to do this one with you. So the image is going to have A prime at 0, 4 because A was at 0, 8. See that? It was at 0, 8. So if we multiply 0 times a half, well, it's still going to be 0. And if we multiply 8 times a half, it's going to be 4. All right, so if you need to actually do this on paper, then do it. 8 times 1 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 8 over 2 is 4. See? So this 8 is going to be cut in half to a 4. You could even do it mentally real quick and just say, what is half of these numbers? And not have to do this. What is half of 8? What is half of 4 or half of negative 6 or half of negative 6? Half of 4. And you could just do them very quickly that way by just thinking what is half of that, all right? If you have to show your work, well, you can just do your multiplication real quick. So we know that a prime is going to be at 0, 4, because that's half of 0, 8. So 0, 4 is going to be right here. That's our new place for a prime, okay? We know b prime is going to be half of 4 and half of 4, so that's going to be a 2 and a 2. So it's positive 2, positive 2 for b prime. And here's positive 2 on the x and positive 2 on the y. So our new spot for b prime is going to be right here for the image. c prime is going to be positive 2, negative 3. So we find positive 2 on x and go down to negative 3, and it's right there. So that's c prime. And d prime is going to be negative 2, negative 3, because half of negative 4 is negative 2, and half of negative 6 is negative 3. So we've got negative 2, negative 3 for d prime, and that's going to be right here. Negative 2, negative 3. e prime is going to be at negative 2, 2, because it's half of negative 4 and 4. See? So we've got negative 2 and 2. So negative 2 for x is here, and 2 on y is positive, so it's here. So that's going to be our new shape, and we can connect these lines, can't we? It's not as neat when you don't use a edge of a ruler, but now we've got our new coordinates. We've plotted it. Let me change markers here so we can list and label our new image. So now this is a prime, right? This is b prime. This is c prime. This is D prime, and this is E prime. See? And it's got 0, 0, the origin, as the center of dilation. See that? It's just a smaller version of it. 
the line segments are all half the size of the pre-image. The shape and orientation are the same. It's just the lines are half. So if we look at the length of BC, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 units. B, B prime, C prime is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. See? Every line is half the length of the blue one. Now what would have happened if our scale factor was 1 and not a half? What if it was 1? Well, remember, the way to figure it out is you multiply it by that number. So that means X would be multiplied by 1. That's 0. Y would be multiplied by 1. That's an 8. Well, if we multiplied all these by 1, they'd stay the same, wouldn't we? So if our scale factor was 1, our image would be drawn on top of the blue one. It would be the same. It would have the same coordinates because we're just multiplying these by 1. And you know what the, the, power, the rule is for 1, right? The identity rule. It stays the same. That's the identity rule. You don't change its identity when you multiply it by 1. So, if the scale factor was 1, the image would be the same as the pre-image. In order for it to reduce, it has to be less than 1. It's got to be smaller than 1, okay? Now, this is what I want you to remember from all these videos we've been making. We've got size, shape, and orientation. We've done translations, reflections, rotations, dilations. Remember, the translations were sliding. The size, shape, and orientation stayed the same. The reflections flipped like a mirror image, didn't they? And the size and shape were the same, but the orientation changed because it flipped. In rotations, that's a turn. The size and shape were the same, but the orientation was different because it turned. And now, in dilations, they can become bigger or smaller. The size is different for the first time, see that? But the shape and the orientation stay the same, okay? So that's graphing reductions algebraically, all right? That's what we just did. And we're going to continue talking about algebraic dilations. And we're going to talk about what happens when the center of dilation is not the origin. What happens when the center dilation is outside of the image? That's what we're going to talk about next in 10.2c, all right? I really hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing all right. Ah, we're going to make it. Okay? Keep your chin up. Keep trying. I'll see you next video. Bye.